So what inspires you? I mean, when, when um, we look at the art that we have here, it, 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 um, it speaks volumes, you know, and of course art is interpreted differently by different people. So when I look at something, I see something, you know, one way, you'll see it another way. What is it that motivates you or inspires you to come up with a particular painting? Well, it, it depends on a, on, on a period sometimes. And a lot of things inspire me from family. You know, I love color. Sometimes just looking at, at you know, beautiful um, colors, you know, women, uh, dress nicely, men. Uh, I, I try to capture those moments and, 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 and I think that inspires me. I mean, most recently I've been, in, um, I've been interested in kind of working with archival materials, you know, and, and, and the period before independence. So I look at characters mm. and, and, and I look at how they thought about being here in Zambia or whichever part of Zambia. So I, yeah, their stories inspire me. So I'm, I'm yeah, uh, sometimes it's just, you know, standing in Cairo Road and just listening to people talk. That will be an inspiration for me. Because I've noticed you have, um, you do a lot of um, imagery with women. Yes. Using um, Chitenge material. What, what is the history with that, or what is the inspiration behind that? Firstly, I, th I think my, my uh, working with uh, women, uh, women imagery has a lot to do with the fact that, you know, I'm very interested in um, telling a story through my work. And, and, and I believe that, you know, whichever part of Zambia you go to, if you look at the women, you get the actual story. I mean, where I come from, men go to the garden with dress in a jacket, you know, and from there they go and drink. But women, you get the actual story of, I mean, the situation, what's happening. You get it from women. And secondly, how women are flamboyant, dressed most of the time, they're colorful. And, and, and I love color, like I said. And I, and, and I think it gives a lot of color to my work and to my paintings. It sounds like a joke, you know? So I feel that um, because of that lack of exposure has led to People me believe that Zambian artwork is too expensive, but believe you me, we also have incentives for Zambian collectors, you know, that they can buy in installments just to cushion maybe uh, their hard thinking. But not to say that uh, Zambian art is expensive, it's very, very cheap. Because when we go to the outside world and uh, expose our work, it's a, it's, a, it's a different story.